Hi there. We'll be showing you how to use crawler and scraper software, in this case import.io, to automatically copy large amounts of desired data from different web pages into one database. So here we have Fishbase, a global species database of fish species with an extensive amount of data and information. For our example, we can see that there are 1,213 species spread over 26 pages. Obviously, copy and pasting would be extremely long and tedious, so we present a much more efficient approach. First, we open up the import.io program. Since there are multiple pages of data, we need to include a crawler function to operate while scraping the data. Simply select New, followed by clicking the Crawler button. Within a tab in the import.io program, we go to the website with our data. Simply copy and paste from your browser and then click I'm there once you're ready. In almost all cases, you will want to click Detect Optimal Settings and then check if the data you need to extract is highlighted in green and click Yes to confirm. Now we need to set up and train the scraper in order to define for the program what rows are and where we want to extract the data from. Here we obviously have multiple rows of data and therefore select the multiple option. Now the training begins. So first off, we simply highlight the top row of data required. And then we hit Train Rows. It hasn't yet automatically selected all the data, so we then proceed to highlight the second row of data. And once again, we need to hit the Train Rows button. And there we go. It's now been trained to recognize the data that we want and has selected all 50 rows. We click I've got all 50 or however many you have rows in order to continue. In this next step, we're setting up columns that we want to extract the data from. You can add as many columns as you desire. In our example, we just need species name. So we name the column appropriately, making sure we have the correct text format, which is to the right. Then we hit Done, and in a very similar manner to setting up the rows, we highlight the top entry under the Species column and click Train. Bingo! This time it understands first time and highlights the whole column. Always good to have a quick check to ensure all your data is highlighted correctly. Once again hit I've got what I need to continue. Here we're setting up the crawler to automatically recognise the data we want from each page. This is once more done through training, until we see that the program is doing it without our assistance. Click Add another page to continue. In our example, we're going to page 2 of the dataset, and once you're ready, hit I'm there. Brilliant! We can see that it has automatically selected all 50 rows of data, so we can tell it that we're ready to proceed. Now we check if it is selecting the correct column, which it is and the species names appear in our column at the bottom as well. Confirm by clicking I've got what I need. Import.io requires at least five pages of training, so repeat the process we just discussed until you have a sufficient amount. Once you're finished, click I'm done training to continue. Marvellous! You set up your crawler. Give your crawler a clear descriptive title for future reference and click OK. The crawler is now ready and synced with import.io for usage. Let's run our crawler to extract some data. So here we want to select the page where the crawler should begin from and copy it to the clipboard for use in a second. The five pages that are there are actually the ones we trained. Now we select how deep into the website it should access data from. We already have five pages, so we select 22 to select the rest of the pages we need for a complete dataset. Under Where to Crawl, we want to give the program the template in order to visit web pages that are similar to the one indicated here. So here we paste the line we copied earlier, since this is the obvious perfect template in this case. We will make a few adjustments, however. Firstly, in order for the crawler to visit all 26 pages, we will enter this line into the URL by entering NUM in between accolades after page equals. 
all URLs with a number here will be visited. A second change we will make is to add the dollar sign after the link. This ensures that the endings of the link will be matched, ensuring that all pages of table 1 are visited. Now we will copy this link and paste it into this other box that forces the crawler to scrape information from the visited pages following our URL pattern. And we're ready. Let's click go. Success. Now we can upload and view our data. So if we scroll down our fish based data set, we can see that it has indeed selected all 1213 data entries. So for even larger data sets, this tool becomes extremely powerful. From this page, we can also download our scraped data set for use in Excel or another program. You can even share it with a colleague. So we hope this has helped. Best of luck guys. And thank you for watching.